I'm 40. I haven't conceived. When I get married, when I meet my partner, am I going to conceive as quickly as my friend have? Um, I'm worried about my chances of having to um, get pregnant quickly at 40. All of those things, we are going to deal with it in this video today. So stick around. Please make sure you watch to the end because you're going to be benefiting a lot from this topic today. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Chidima. I'm a registered nurse midwife and I've got experience here and there in the fertility setting. Hence why we talk about um, sexual health, reproductive health in this channel and other topics generally that might interest you. Consider subscribing to the channel. Don't make it your last time coming to the channel. And if you're returning, as always, I love you guys. Thank you for coming back again to this channel. Without wasting time, let's get right into this video. So women are so much worried about the biological clock. When I say biological clock, what do I mean? Right. Typically, and anybody there, without being um, a doctor, a nurse, or having anything to do with medics, have this at the back of their mind. Right. Um, I have to get to a point where I begin to menstruate. And then when I start to menstruate, I get to ovulate. And um, you get to a point where you know that mm, ovulation will result in pregnancy. And there's also a part of your life where you are told that, well, you need to be careful if you're touched, you get pregnant mm, immediately. But let me tell you, it's not that easy. Conception is not that easy. For anybody, it's not that easy. Right. So and um, now you are in your 20s, you are in your 30s. Oh, you have hit 35. And now, oh my God, the big 40 is here. And you haven't even conceived. You haven't even seen a partner to conceive with, let alone conceiving. And this is giving you a lot of headache. I want to first of all start by reassuring you that a lot, a lot of women, even at 45, have gotten pregnant, unaided, no fertility woke up, no stress. They just hit the road and the pregnancy came. I'm sure that's reassuring for you. Yes. So now relax and watch the rest of the video. So if you are 40 and um, you are worried about conceiving, let's start by saying, don't waste time. Do not waste time. I usually tell people, make it a lifestyle, make it a pattern to always yearly go to your doctor to say, I need to have a fertility checkup done. I want to check my hormones. I want to um, check everything about my fertility, get some scan done and be sure I'm all right. Okay? Because we cannot argue the fact that as you're aging, everything about your body system is going down as well. That is the way God has made it. So the first thing I will say is head on to the doctor just as a routine and get your um, fertility checked up. Your ovarian reserve to know how much egg that is left. Um, you can even do your hormonals, check your luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, progesterone, estrogen, um, all the hormones basically that have to do with femininity. That is if you are interested in conceiving. Remember, not every woman is interested in having a child. So this video does not apply to everybody, just those who are interested in having a child and they are up to 40. So get all these treatments done. And then you're sure where you are fertility wise. You now know that, yes, this is my situation. Oh, my, my ovaries are fine. My fallopian tubes are fine. They are not blocked. My hormones are good. That's the better way to start it. Let me tell you why some people um, find it difficult to conceive and they don't even know where the problem is coming from. Do you know that? A lot of people are walking about with blocked fallopian tube for years. For years. And they don't even know about it. Because why? They have their ovulation every month. They have their menstruation every month. And then in their head, everything is fine. No. Not everybody who menstruates every month is ovulating. Some people do not ovulate, but they still menstruate. I think that's a topic I have to do with in this channel. So that's one. 
Some people have blocked fallopian tubes and they don't even know about it. The only way you're going to find out if your tubes are okay is going for things like HSG. You might wonder and say, why should I be bothered about all these things when, oh, I'm single, I don't have a partner, I don't have a husband, I don't have a spouse. Why should I be worried about all of these things? But you need to, if you are looking to have a child someday, then you have to make it a routine that yearly you need to get your fertility checked out. You don't have to have a problem before you go into the fertility clinic to say, oh, I need to get checked out. So that is one. Early action. Kick start checking your body, get conversant with your body system, get conversant with your menstrual cycle, get conversant with your ovulation, be able to say everything about your fertility. That is number one. Now, if you are married or you have a partner you're living with and you guys want to conceive, I mean, you've lived, normally we will say um, you have to have tried for one year uninterrupted one year uninterrupted sexual intercourse without any form of protection. And if you haven't achieved pregnancy at that point, then we can say that you have a fertility issue or you are infertile. So if you try, if you try for one year and you have not conceived, you are not preventive pregnancy in any way. Um, you feel like everything is fine. You're having your menstruation and stuff like that. Please don't even waste time. Go on to the doctor. Encourage your partner that you go and see the fertility doctor. Um, fertility and endocrinologist. Yes. Those are the ones that specializes in checking out your hormone. Go and see your gynae doctor to get you checked, your tubes checked, your husband's sperm is checked, the quality of the sperm. It might even be that you are not the issue. It might even be that you've waited for one year without conception because it's the man. There is no point waiting for five years three years four years time is of the essence the moment you try to conceive for one year that is if you are not used to going to have your system checked out before now every year you just got married and now you've tried for one year and you're 40 please rush to the doctor i cannot emphasize this enough rush to the doctor because time is of the essence the more you are waiting um you are releasing eggs every month doing ovulation the quantity of eggs that you had at birth is no longer the same. The ovarian reserve is reducing. The quality of the egg is going down as well. So you need to rush the doctor with your partner so that you both will be checked out and then you nip it at the board, whatever is the issue. That is number two. Now, number three thing you have to do is if you are 40 and you have just gotten a partner or you're looking forward to conceive, please make sure that you have started taking your folic acid, your prenatal vitamins. Prepare yourself, prepare yourself, I mean, before that time. Attend the preconception clinic so that you prepare your body properly. Drop certain lifestyles. If you used to smoke, stop it. If you used to drink, stop it. Um, drop certain things, you know, to make a change in your lifestyle. If you have a high body weight, try to drop it a bit. Do not overexercise. It's not too good for that. But make sure you drop your body weight to a normal body weight. Because one thing is about conceiving. Another thing is you carrying that pregnancy to the end. Because anything, because now age is the problem and time is of the essence, Pregnancy at this time can also end in miscarriages because you have only 5% chance every month to conceive. So you want to eliminate all odds, making sure you have a healthy lifestyle. So that is that again that you need to put at the back of your mind. So like I said earlier in the video, very many women as well will conceive without hitches. People's fertility um, rates differ from person to person. Now, um, if you've had things like um, miscarriages in the past and stuff like that, and it has happened severally, please rush to the doctor. Or even if you've had one miscarriage, don't wait till it gets to run to the doctor and get checked up. Some people in the course of living their life um, before settling down have had to do dilatation and curettage, which is D and C, and now it have left their service incompetent. So make sure you go to the doctor so that you get checked out. The tissues of the miscarriage is taken to the laboratory, is investigated to know the cause, 
don't go through it alone in your house because of your age make sure it's happening in the clinic so that these things can be checked out and then the doctor can say oh it's it's just um um cell division issues or oh, it has to do with chromosomes or oh, it has to do with this or that so the earlier the better all right guys and as soon as miscarriage is done make sure you start trying immediately and now if you have another thing to talk about is your goals as a family do you want to have two children do you want to have three children do you want to have four children um do you originally have issues with your cycle like irregular cycle in the past have you had to deal with C pcos rather i mean pcos have you had to deal with pcos in the past um have you had to deal with thyroid issues in the past then there's no point even going through all of this process doing the hormonal thing um, the sperm check and stuff and stuff just head on to your doctor and opt for ivf yes head on to your doctor if you can afford it and aim for ivf then they are going to do all the checks and checks and checks to make sure everything is fine and then proceed with it because time is of the essence trust me some people get to menopause very quickly and some people do not get to menopause very quickly i read a research where it said if you are um if you have started menstruation early on during your um teenage age if you started very early like some people will start menstruating at 11 then you have a high chance of having menopause come on time and if you started late you might not experience menopause that early so stuff like that it's not a concluded research but I, I after reading it i feel like it makes sense so apart from god factor and the fact that some people are just very lucky and the grace of god covers them and even at 42 they can get pregnant with ease and have a healthy baby you know miscarriages and stuff if you are at 40 don't joke don't joke at this point take everything serious head on to the doctor start all the checks and checks and checks i know that it might be very difficult for the man to admit the fact oh why are you going to the hospital we need to try we haven't even tried and stuff like that convince him that you need to go show him this video to watch you need to go because the age is a factor you both are older and um, you need to make sure things are in a better place so that you don't just waste your time trying every month and then there's a problem which has been undiagnosed so this is it guys trust me so many women at 40 are getting pregnant unaided but because time is of the essence make sure you do not joke with things like this i'll see you in my next video consider subscribing to the channel don't make it your last visit to this channel just subscribe and give the video a thumbs up please a lot of people are battling with things like this give this video a thumbs up recommend it to friends share it so that people can watch these things and benefit from it see you in the next video bye